Welcome to our first Trash Art Hour, where we are going to be making sustainable, cool crafts together that we find in our everyday households. Stay tuned and have some fun. Welcome to how to make your very own sustainable mason pot. The supplies that you will need is a paper towel, two paint brushes, one for painting, one for the Mod Podge, and another paintbrush to put stones on or to place glitter where you want, paint of your choosing, Mod Podge, a hot glue gun, and a plate. Today, for our craft, I will be using a small mason jar. You are more than welcome to use any mason jar size that you please, but this is the only one that I had in my house. For your first step, you're going to paint the mason jar. This will probably take about one to maybe four to five coats, depending on how thick your paint is. If you are someone who loves glitter, like myself, this is perfect for you. You are more than welcome to opt out of the glitter, but in case you want to use glitter, you're going to make sure you put a nice, even one coat of Mod Podge around the bottom or the area that you want to place glitter on and have a plate underneath the mason jar and slowly start shaking the glitter onto the jar. This is what the glitter looks like once you've placed the Mod Podge and the glitter and you let it dry. This is not sealed yet, it is just the first two layers of the glitter process. For step three, we're gonna wanna heat up the hot glue gun. This is so that we can apply any material onto our mason jar and make sure it really sticks. While looking in my house, I found these cool paper flowers that were gonna be thrown out in the trash, and instead, I figured why not put it onto our mason pot. So, I'm going to take one flower out and apply it to the jar. This is what the paper flower looks like when it's close up outside the package. And look, I found more flowers, which is beautiful for a mason pot. Why? Well, because we're gonna be putting flowers inside the pot anyway. You are more than welcome to use any kind of string or ribbon that you may have in your house. This was something that I had in mind that I felt like it would be perfect for my mason pot. We are going to apply this around the rim of the project. This is what it looks like when you're placing the string around the rim. When you're placing the string around the rim, make sure you space out the hot glue. You don't want it too close together. You're able to just wrap and wrap and wrap the string around and periodically add glue just so it adheres to the right place. Once I was done placing the rope around the rim, I started on placing the flowers. You're more than welcome to place anything on your mason jar or even if you have flowers, place any kind of flowers on them. I just wanted to place mine kind of in a cool, funky kind of spot. So this is the end result. For our final step, you want to conceal the glitter. And if you want to, you can conceal the paint if you're gonna be putting this outside. It will work either way for either part. When you're putting the paint on, you wanna make sure you use a thin coat. You do not need a super thick coat of Mod Podge because it is strong. It is kind of hard to see in this picture, but it is on there and you wanna give it at least about five minutes to dry. 